eat it, they be like, say what? It's vegan? So yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Chef Joya and welcome back to another episode of Say What? It's Vegan. Now we're gonna do one of the most requested recipes that you all have asked for and that's my Not Your Mama's Meatloaf. I am finally bringing it to YouTube. It's already in my cookbook, it's so amazing. So let's go ahead and get started. Anytime that I pop up, people are asking me, when are you gonna make this meatloaf? And I'm like, child, y'all got the cookbook, okay? Like, y'all got the cookbook, y'all got the reels, but y'all don't have the full video, so let me show you how I, ooh, that's sizzling. Let me show you how I do it. Now, I do it differently every time, so if you're one that's strict to the recipe, go make sure you go ahead and get the cookbook, it's so amazing. The link will be down below for you to check it out, all right? So we're gonna start off with a little bit of vegan butter, and you can use some olive oil in there as well. Then I'm also gonna go ahead and add some onion. This is white onion, you can use white, yellow, Vidalia, it don't matter. Some bell pepper. I'm also gonna add some mushrooms to it, just to give it a more meatier uh, texture. And then I'm gonna add some celery to it. Not too much, because I don't want too much celery in it, okay? Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add some Just Magic. Now, this is the salt-free Just Magic, I know. Right, I heard you all. I heard you all ask about my seasonings being salt-free. So I do have a salt-free version that's going to be available October 15th. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my Chef Joyous Nest so you can be notified first when these break loose. But we're gonna use the salt-free of the Just Magic. Go ahead and shake some of that out for ya. Got all the herbs without the sodium, okay? But y'all know me, I'm gonna put some sodium in here. I just want to show off that I got salt-free now. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go ahead and add some onion soup mix. Yes, onion soup mix. This is the little crack packs that we love to use. It has so much flavor, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a nice little stir for about two to three minutes until it is softened and almost translucent. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our vegan ground meat. Now you can use whatever ground meat that you would like, any brand, there's so many out here. There's Beyond, Impossible, Go Legendary, none of them are paying me for that. I'm just letting you all know what you can use. If you also wanna go ahead and use your lentils and your walnuts, you know, you can do that as well. So we're gonna take our vegan ground meat, then we're gonna add our mixture. I love a lot of veggies, so I'm adding all of that, okay? Normal people, you might wanna use half of that, but I like all of that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my Red House seasoning, salt-free. Um, if you have the one that already has a salt on it, if you need to, or you need to order some right now, they're not very high in sodium, so you can go ahead and get that at Chef Joy's Nest. But this has like chili powder, it has some of the brown sugar in there, it has a lot of smoky flavor, so it's super perfect for the meatloaf, and this is literally gonna be the only seasoning that you need as far as spices to add for your meatloaf, okay? Next, you know I gotta get my vegan Worcestershire sauce, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that to this as well and add a little bit of uh, liquid smoke just because I'm used to it, right? Then we're gonna add a little bit of hot sauce because you know if we have some Worcestershire, we need a hot sauce in there too, so we're gonna do a couple dashes of hot sauce. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit more brown sugar because that's just what I do. And then actually like the sweet and tangy meatloaf I absolutely love. Even though the Red House has some brown sugar in there, I just think it needs a little bit more for this recipe. And then next we're gonna go ahead and add our panko breadcrumbs. And if you're asking like, chef, you ain't mixed in the seasons, it's okay, all this is gonna get mixed in right together, all right? Make sure you read the labels because some of them do contain milk, so make sure that they are vegan. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of flaxseed meal. This is gonna be my binder as well with the breadcrumbs. This is gonna act as egg. Once this hits liquid, it actually starts to gel up um, and it's gonna help hold that meatloaf together. I don't know how much, get the cookbook because all the measurements are there, all right? Next, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some vegan beef bouillon. You can use whatever brand you like. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Everybody knows you gotta have milk in your meatloaf. I don't know why, you just do, all right? You just do, that's how I've always seen it. Every old person I've ever seen make meatloaf done soak their bread in the milk. You like you need the milk, okay? So we're gonna add a little bit of milk. You can use whatever brand you want, just make sure it's unsweetened, all right? So we're gonna give this a nice little mix around. And if it's a little bit too moist, you just go ahead and add some more breadcrumbs to it, okay? So I'm gonna let this sit for about two minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and pack this into a uh, glass meatloaf shaped pan. If you don't have a meatloaf shaped pan, you can use a flat pan and just mold it yourself and heat your oven to 375 to 400, depending on the way it heat. And then it's gonna cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so spraying it with some nonstick spray. 
Then I'm gonna take my meatloaf and I'm going to add the mixture, nice and thick. And this is perfect, especially like during the weeknights. You know, school is starting back. Uh, it's a great for meal prepping. It's like one of those meals was like one and done, serve it up with some mashed potatoes and green beans. You know, that's the classic. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and check it. And while that's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and start on our glaze. No, we are not gonna go up here and just pour no ketchup on our hard worked iron meatloaf, okay? So for those of y'all that's sitting there pouring ketchup on your meatloaf, stop, all right? But we are gonna use some of this ketchup. So we're gonna go ahead and add this to a pan. Ooh. Then we're gonna add some of our vegan Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, ooh, nice. Gonna add a little bit of our Red House seasoning, cause you know I gotta have all the flavor. I like mine's real nice and tangy. So I'm gonna add a little bit of, that's a little bit to me, okay? A little bit of hot sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid smoke. Now this ain't in my cookbook this part, but you know, wine is good as spaghetti and any other red sauces. So we're gonna add a little bit of Pinot Noir, more of that good old brown sugar, and some of our onion soup mix. So we're gonna mix this up nicely. Then we're gonna put this on our stove top and allow this to cook the same amount of time that it takes for our meatloaf to be done. We're gonna bring it up to a small little boil and then we're going to let it simmer so it can be really sticky, all right? So that way we can just pour it right on top of our meatloaf instead of baking it onto our meatloaf. All right, so our meatloaf is out of the oven. We allowed it to cool down for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm getting ready to go ahead and flip it on this plexi cutting board because I'm also going to, oh! <laughs> it came right out, good old cooking spray. Clean out. <laughs> All right, so now that our, our meatloaf has slipped out of the pan, we're gonna go ahead and add that really sticky glaze, and you can use as much or as little as you like, but you know, we're gonna go all out for this. So. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on the plate so we can serve it on up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and spoon some of our red skin mashed potatoes. Now, if you're looking for that recipe, go back to my Salisbury steak recipe video where I did my TV dinner. You can find the recipe for these lovely and delicious red skin mashed potatoes. And I'll make sure we put a link um, in the description box of this video. So we're gonna add our mashed potatoes. Next, we're gonna go ahead and use some sauteed green beans. Make sure those things are al dente. You're gonna use some vegan butter, some vegan chicken stock, a little bit of garlic, salt and pepper, or just use my Just Magic seasoning, and it'll be perfect. Then we're gonna get our, the star of the show, the Not Your Mama's Meatloaf. Like, listen, who ain't gonna want this meal? Let me go ahead and give me a little taste. Mm -mm. Little potato, little meatloaf. Mm. Well, yeah. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to tell a friend to tell a friend where you're gonna find the best vegan recipes on the internet. Make sure you check out my cookbook. It's so amazing and definitely my season for the best vegan food there is. I'm Chef Joya. This is Say What Is Vegan. Ciao.